Nine of the 15 locomotives listed in the 1917 Interstate Commerce Commission valuation of the Tanesta Valley Railway were conventional steam locomotives. These used drive rods to propel the wheels. But six of their locomotives used a radical new design that came along as late as the 1880s. These were gear driven and had a different alignment of the cylinders. Locomotives with the new design were tailor-made to operate on the hastily built uneven tracks used for logging. There were two different designs of gear-driven locomotives used on the Senesta Valley Railway. One was called the Climax and the other called the Heisler. There was a third kind of gear-driven locomotive called the Shea, but it was not used because it proved to be too heavy. A Climax locomotive is a type of geared steam locomotive in which the cylinders are attached to a transmission lo located under the center of the boiler. This transmits power to the drive shafts running to the front and rear trucks. The cylinders are at a 20 degree angle. The center drive design used on the climb was the most flexible ever used in any geared locomotive and this design allowed the trucks to swivel freely and negotiate uneven tracks and sharp curves. The most outstanding feature of the Climax was the two-speed gear arrangement. These gave the locomotive two speeds, high and low, which could be shifted at will by the engineer in the cab. The low speed was a decided advantage when a heavy train had to be started or climbed on a steep grade. At the time of the 1917 valuation by the Interstate Commerce Commission, the railroad owned three Climax locomotives. The history of the Heisler steam locomotive is credited to the person who invented it, Charles L. Heisler. Heisler's idea was to place the locomotive's two cylinders at a downward 45 degree angle on each side of the boiler. They were met underneath. The cylinder orientation looks like that of an old V8 automobile engine. The cylinders powered a center drive shaft that drove each axle. There was an outboard drive rod on each powered truck. The Heisler was in production from 1894 until 1943. At the time of the Interstate Commerce valuation of the Tanesta Valley Railway, the railroad had three of this type locomotives. The Climax and Heisler locomotives gave access to the remotest parts of the forest in the Allegheny Plateau. Two conventional 440 American type locomotives were used for passenger service. Notice the Sheffield Depot in the background.